there welcome to my kitchen my name is renee and this is my channel welcome to my curls i love to cook i have a whole cooking segment about my favorite recipes that i love to share with you and y'all i am breaking out my crock pot today <laughs> And for the past six days, it has been raining, it has been gloomy, and fall is here. And do you know what happens when fall is here? I get out my crock pot. I don't use my crock pot in the summer. I just, it's just not my thing. I make heavier winter cold weather dishes in my crock pot. And for some reason, I thought, I want Italian beef. And that is what I'm gonna show you how to make today. If you have never had Italian beef in your crock pot, your mind is gonna be blown. It is so just ridiculously easy, so full of flavor, so fast, and the best part is it just simmers away. I don't have to do a single thing. And I'm actually in a hurry. I am late for work, and that's the whole point of this. I'm filming this video. I just have a couple minutes to get my Italian beef cooking, and I'm gonna share that with you. It's just gonna simmer away and do its thing until I get home from work. It's gonna be waiting on me, and then we're gonna make our buttery, toasty buns with our melted cheese and put our Italian beef on there. So tonight, my husband and I are gonna have Italian beef sandwiches and french fries. Let's get our Italian beef in the crock pot. So basically, you need three ingredients. I told you this was simple. You need mild banana peppers. If you like spicy, get what suits you. I use mild banana peppers. You need zesty Italian packaged seasoning. Now you can use regular Italian. I just like the zesty. So again, get what suits you. This is a box. There's like four of these little packets in here. You can buy the packets individually if you want to, but I use this a lot in the wintertime, so I just buy the box. And you need a beef shoulder roast. But the beef shoulder, in my opinion, just shreds apart really well. And it doesn't really matter that it has fat on it because once this cooks down, we're just gonna go in there with the pair of tongs and just remove all the fat. So you don't have to trim this, you do nothing to it. We're just gonna drop it in the crock pot. This is all you need, y'all. Get out your trusty crock pot. It does not matter what size crock pot you have. You do need a pat of butter. Put a little bit of water in the bottom of your crock pot. Just a dab of water. You don't want your roast floating in water. It's just enough to help it make a little bit of juice. Take out one of your packets of Italian seasoning. and put it in your water. And I just give it a little shush around. We're gonna save these banana peppers until we get home from work or until later, we don't need them right now. I'm gonna open up my roast. And I'm going to do nothing to it except for set it inside. I'm gonna cut myself one pat of butter and put it on top of my roast. Put the lid on, boom, you're done. This is what my Italian beef looks like. It's just sitting in there, just a little bit of water with my seasonings and put a pat of butter right on top of your roast. It just makes it glazy and thick as opposed to watery. Put the lid on and turn it on low. And just let it cook about six or seven hours. Six. I'm home from work. I was gone six hours and that is how long my Italian beef, my roast has been cooking in my crock pot. Take a look at this. So now I'm gonna add in my peppers and I like to have my peppers in there about one hour. That's all I want them to cook so that they don't get too mushy. So for me and this size roast, I'm just gonna add a half of a jar of peppers and the juice. Add a half a jar and then Put your peppers down in the juice so that the peppers will cook. And put your lid back on and just let it go for one more hour. And if 
Ooh, look at that. Oh, it smells so good in here. So look at that. And all I'm going to do is just pull off this rim of fat right here. And if you have any marbles in your roast, you can pull that out as well. Just do it suits you. So I'm going to get rid of this fat, this marble, and that marble. And then I'm going to shred up my beef. And so it's all just going to sit in my juice. See, it's, look at it, simmering and my peppers are all soft. I am so ready for dinner. The fat just comes right off like butter. So I have my roast beef all shredded and it's just gonna sit in here and hang out in this juice while I butter my buns. Now is the last step. I gotta butter my buns. We're gonna broil the buns so that they're all toasty and crispy and brown. And then we're gonna put our Italian beef on there and then it's time to eat. So we like to use, we, we call them football buns. They're a wheat bun. Use whatever bun you like, but I do suggest that, it, that you use something a little bit thicker and heartier because if you don't you don't want a wimpy bun or it's just gonna break down and fall apart when you put your Italian beef on there with all of that juice and cheese. So do use something that has a little bit of mm to your bun. Just like that. Now I'm gonna butter the bottom bun because I'm gonna put cheese on the top. So I don't wanna butter the top. I wanna butter the bottom. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put my favorite cheese on the top. We use provolone. Feel free to use whatever cheese you love. So put your buttered cheesy buns in the oven on broil just until they're golden brown and melted cheese. Okay, look at this. My buns are toasty. My cheese is bubbly. Perfect. Get all my Italian beef on here. So one of the best things about Italian beef is it is excellent the next day for lunch. So that's why I don't mind buying more roast than we need for our family because it is so good the next day. I love it with chips. It is the perfect lunch, a leftover Italian beef. Something else I like to do is put my juice in a little thing. I love to dip my sandwich in the juice. It is so good. The house smells incredible. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen today as we make Italian beef in the crock pot. Now, it is time for me to eat. I am starving and it smells so good in here. So next time you have a cool, just crisp day and you're dying to get out your crock pot or you're looking for a super easy quick meal that can just cook while you're away, make an Italian beef. I'll see you later.